In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Welcome to this video. I'm Nasmus and peace be unto you. In this video, we're going to show, check out the easiest way to try Linux, especially if you're a first time user. So in the, I have a two part series and in the first part, we're going to download and install Linux. So to get started in your web browser, type in www.ubuntu.com. That's U-B-U-N-T-U dot com. Now, on the orange menu bar, let's click on the download link. Now, if you're watching this on a, some other future date, uh, they might have changed the website, but you should still be able to find the download link. Now, we want to click, we want to click Ubuntu Desktop. Now, we have two types of download. One is long-term support, while the other is the latest version. The long-term support will be supported for five years with customer support, while the latest version is always supported for only nine months. So let's click long, you could just choose whichever one you want. Now I recommend downloading the 32-bit and so do they because it requires less resources and it is more compatible. I'm downloading the 64-bit but I recommend you do the 32-bit. Here you could choose to donate to the developers. But remember Linux is always free and you don't have to pay anything. So if you, if you don't want to click not now and go to the download page. Here the download should the browser should prompt a download and just click save to save the uh, oh, save Ubuntu on your uh, downloads folder now once it's done it'll say download is complete we're going to click close and we're going to go to our downloads folder or the folder you chose to download it's usually the downloads folder here you could see Ubuntu 1210 now if you're watching this in the future the version number might be higher like Ubuntu 14 or 15 but for me it's 1210 now we're not going to do anything with that yet because we're going to download a virtual machine virtual machine is uh, allow us to install other operating system without changing our current operating system so our, our virtual machine we're going to try is VMware player because it's the easiest for a new user and it offers the best experience and it's free VMware player Let's us down install other OS's on top of our current operating system. So to, to for now we click the blue download link. Now there's VMware Player for Linux, for Mac, for Windows. So whichever operating system you're using, I'm assuming you're using Windows or Mac actually. So let's click uh, VMware. Um, actually, they don't have for Mac. You have to pay for the Mac version. But let's click on VMware for Windows 32 or 64 bit, and then click save this will save VMware and you could just run the installer and install VMware you'll just have to click next next I agree to license next finish you know the usual process once it's done once it's done you'll see the orange VMware icon and double clicking it will open the VMware player this will allow us to install Ubuntu on top of Windows without damage or without changing our main computer so here we want to click let's uh, create a new virtual machine now we could install from a disk or we could install an ISO image we're going to choose install from disk image and we're going to select the Ubuntu we downloaded from our downloads folder it says Ubuntu 64 bit detected the operation system will use easy install what this means is that it will automatically do the installing for you so you don't have to do any manual work if we're an advanced user, you could you could change the setting and install it manually. But since we're first timer, we could just use easy install. So here it's asking us for a full name, password, username. These things usually set up during the install. But since we're using easy install, we just fill up fill it up now, and the VMware player will do it automatically. So we'll just choose store virtual disk as single file. Say, choose your disk size now we could change your uh, machine setup so you could change the amount of RAM you want to give it you could turn on 3d acceleration my I'm giving it one gigabyte and you could set those up and you could click finish now usually when you install Ubuntu it'll, it'll ask you to you know fill up all this information keyboard options language uh, date and time but because we're using e easy install in VMware um, uh, it'll do this automatically 
Now as you can see I just click the download and install button. What this does is downloads the VMware tools for Linux. This will allow our Linux OS to run very smoothly on Windows. I'll talk about it more in a bit but wait till the downloads finished. It's going to take a few minutes um, but it's fine. It's saying downloading VMware tools and we'll just wait let it wait and finish but as you can see on the background VMware to VMware or not VMware sorry Ubuntu has already loaded and you could see that installer dialog box up here it says copying files now you could see that it didn't ask us for user information or passwords or um, date and time because easy install is doing that for us now it says all updates finished so that means VMware tools has been finished installing or downloading. So now we, we're, we're now uh, you could see, you can now interact with the Ubuntu in the background. See, it's uh, you can now uh, scroll through these text, and you could see details of the what files is being copied. And now you could go watch through this beautiful slideshow. So the first one's talking about the App Store, which is what which they call Software Center, which you from which you could get the you know apps. We're talking about the personal cloud, which is Ubuntu users get two gigs of free storage. How about your music? I think the music player is uh, Rhythm Box, not Banshee. Rhythm, bo Rhythm Box. Um, there's, you know, talking about Firefox and Flash. And it's talking about LibreOffice here, so which is um, a full office suite for your work needs and telling you how to customize the OS. And if you have any questions, it says, you could go to askubuntu.com or use the Ubuntu forums and as you can see it's downloading language packs so it's doing all this automatically because we're using VMware easy install now um, so yeah we're going to take a look at more of these features in depth in the next part of the series where, I, where we actually explore Ubuntu but here we're just going to install it now the Ubuntu restarted the machine restarted and you could see it says installing VMware tools VMware tools, what this allows is it allows us to use higher graphics settings, it allows, allows us to use, um, it lets us hear sound from Ubuntu and all that stuff. By the way, if you want to run multiple virtual machines, just double click the icon again, you could see two windows. Oh, it seems that um, uh, uh, the Ubuntu is finished installing. So because we used easy install, it it down it installed VMware tools for us automatically. If you wanted to install manually, we had to insert the VMware tool disk in Ubuntu and then manually use a terminal and write some codes and sudo and add some passwords and do all this manually. But since we used Ubuntu easy install, the VMware tools has been installed uh, automatically for us, which is great. Now this is the appearance section. You can right click on the desktop and see um, change to personalize it. I don't know what the colors thing is for. I've never seen that before. Now Ubuntu comes with some beautiful wallpaper and, and I love those really. I mean they have done an amazing job with the near world wallpapers. These close up pictures and they're amazing I think. Um, but as you can see we're in the Ubuntu desktop. The installing is finished. It's very quick and very easy hands free. The easiest way to absolutely easiest way to really install Linux this is our start menu. They call it the dashboard um, of Ubuntu. Now we could search for applications and we could change to folder view and we could click on a folder. It should open the folder in the background. You have your music, video, and movies. Uh, it also recommends Amazon videos uh, if you want to buy them. You could turn those off in the settings menu. We're not going to go over it right now. But uh, here's your apps. Usually in the past, it showed all of your apps. At least you had the option to see all of your apps. Apparently now it doesn't. You could search for them, but it seemed to show only few apps. Um, but uh, okay, so guys, thanks for watching. And in the next video, we're going to explore Ubuntu even more, and we're going to check out how to I uh, know check out how to install apps from the App Store. And we're going to, um, you know, look at uh, some built-in apps and how do we, you know, try out some games or Steam at least, and look at some audio and browse the web. So I hope you enjoyed the or found the first video uh, informative. Uh, this uh, is a very easy way to try Linux out uh, for the for first-time users. Um, VMware Player is a great tool, free, 
and makes the VMware Easy Install makes it really easy to just automatically install Linux for you. Well, if you have any questions, just email me at nasmus at outlook.com or leave, leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next video.